Look who I have with me in my garden. I just wanted to say, if you feel like you've hit a low in your life, in your garden, like I have in my garden, because the sun burnt everything and the wind blew everything away and it's just been chaos, yes. then you must have a friend like Cindy. And you've met Cindy before, but this time Cindy is in my territory and she's boosting me. <laughs> yeah, that's and she right. brought her guys with. Yes. Let me show you them quickly. Yes. Um, that's Colin. Hi guys. Hello, how are you? <laughs> and they're gonna help, they're gonna help us sort this out. I've shown you before my horrible windbreakers that I've had that I, I, I hate. There's so much wind going through here, my trees yeah. aren't growing. It's just yeah. it's terrible. But Cindy's gonna sort it out for me. Cindy, tell the plan quickly. Um we're gonna do a very simple structure. We're gonna plant some poles and we're gonna do we're gonna use recycled wattle trees yes. as um, little laths. And yes. we're gonna have gaps in between so it doesn't create a solid wind barrier, so it's stable and it stays, and then we're gonna plant guava dillas and granadillas. Yes. What is it? Shelter. Windbreakers that side. shelter that side. That's right. As you can see it's dead. Yeah, and okay. you can see there, yo, it's also okay. dead. So she has, she has, it's yeah. dead. Yes. But I've got Cindy. Yes. And I've got these two, which I'm sorted. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, that's I'm sorted. Yeah, that's perfect. You must always be able to admit when you need help. Okay. And if you can't get a Cindy, I'm very sorry for you. You're gonna have to find someone <laughs> like <sorry>. Cindy. <laughs> these these trees that this, these sticks come from are not indigenous in our country, and we don't actually want them because they drink too much water. We don't have lots of water in South Africa, so got a bunch of these, and we're putting them all across this area where the wind just shoots through. We've got a hectic blast of wind that comes through our farm, woof, all the way from down there through our farm. So if you look over there, there are lots of beautiful trees covering that whole area and the wind doesn't blow there. Stuff goes nicely there, but over here, it just shoots through and it just blasts everything in its path. So we're putting these sticks up here and then we've planted a whole lot of these guys, which is, um, Granadilla creeper and granadilla creepers go crazy and they just grow fast and they grow wild and they just cover everything So we're going to cover all of these sticks with granadilla creepers and it's going to help with the wind that's going through um, If you look behind you'll see There's some trees and the trees that are there are wild olive which are really nice for windbreakers because they You know can bend in the wind and stuff and then in between is coral trees which are grow super fast in South Africa. You can just take a stick of one and stick it in the ground and it will grow. So we've got a whole lot of them, but that's going to take a few years to grow. In the meantime, we need windbreakers. And I like planting food. Everything must be food or medicine, or although most plants are, so, but we, we like food, food or herbs or medicinal plants. Um, and so we've got a whole lot of rosemary in the front. And then this is also a nice um, sort of windbreaker a medium-sized one until the trees behind here grow and behind it we've got lots of um, granadilla creepers See? so that's what we're doing for a windbreaker and I'll film it later when the stuff is grown and I'll tell you if it really works but it looks beautiful and we're gonna have food I'm sure it's gonna work cool. Ciao.